Happy sunshine, boys and girls. Got a video from Judy Jandora. This was live streamed today outside of the courthouse in Knoxville, Tennessee. There's some interesting developments, and I'm going to let Judy tell you those. Oh, it is live. Hey, everybody. All right, so I'm going to give this a few minutes. I got Angel Lucci next to me right here. Oh, no. And you are? Nikki Marie. Hi, Nikki Marie. Marie. That's right here. So I just got out of the courthouse. It was over two hours. Um, and wow, all I can say is wow. Um, Heather is Heather is going to be, okay, we've got one viewer so far. Come on up, everybody. <laughs> want to give you a heads up uh, on what is going on. Hi, Shakti. Hello, everybody. Come on in. I want to give you a big heads up about what's going on here at the courthouse in Tennessee, in Knoxville, Tennessee. Um, we've been, I sat in the courthouse for the last two hours um, with the whole group. And um, this was about um, detention. It was the detention hearing and uh, for Heather and Tucci Giraffe. And this is um, August 29th, 2017. And um, so this was about the detention hearing and there were so many things going on. I will do a, a, another update later on when I've gone through all of my notes so that you I'll have a really good idea of what's happening. And uh, basically, what we've come to right now is that Heather is going to be released um, to um, a place here close by and where I know, which is where I've been staying myself. And um, she'll be able to stay there. We've got her secured there for the next three months. Um, she's going to have a leg bracelet on. Um, she'll be able to be free to go during the day with the okay of her probation officers, but uh, will need to be remain there from 8 in the evening until 8 in the morning. Um, if things need to be changed as far as where she's staying, as long as it's approved, that can work out too. Um, she had a lot of support. Um, she, of course, was Heather, <laughs> so she handled herself brilliantly. Let me just say that the judge, um, Judge Shirley, is a, an amazing, kind, gentle being who um, really felt the energy, the good, loving energy there, and um, I really felt him um, soften. Well, he was soft when he came in and he stayed that way. Um, just an a thoughtful, kind gentleman, the person that she's got now. Uh, she will be re representing herself um, as herself, which is fabulous as well. So really everything except being able to record the whole thing uh, audibly, visually, um, that was not able to happen, although I took notes the whole way through, so I have all of the notes uh, for the whole thing. Right now they were still up there just scheduling what was coming up for her. And um, that will give, I'll get you the information later on as to what's coming up. But the next thing that will be coming up will be the jurisdiction. And that did not happen today because she made it very clear that her ideas of what jurisdiction is and what might be known more commonly can be very different. And uh, the judge, while it threw him off for a little while, was an, aware enough to realize that her ideas of what that could be could be different and he's willing to hear that separately which is fabulous brilliant hey alchemist yeah um so lots and lots of good here really good she gets to not be detained within the system now for this next period of time he went through all of the three pages of things she had to sign to agree to to um not be detained within the system and um but it was beautiful. It was really, really good, and I can't wait to see her out of the shackles. <laughs> I'm shackles, yay! Good to see you too, Jenny. Love you, girl. Hi, everybody. Hi, Suzanne. Um, Chuck, thank you all, by the way. Thank you all for all of your light and all of your energy. I felt it completely. I sat there. There were several of us. Uh, and, and Randy's hearing's coming up. Y'all know this afternoon we will be here. 
for that. Some of us will be here at least. So there might be others going back to assist in getting the place fully ready for her. Uh, or we can do that as, as it goes by. Hi, Valerie. Um, and so we'll be here for Randy's hearing. And I'll also let you know about that. Um, hi, Kim. Thank you, sweetheart. Um, thank you all for showing up. Uh, in your hearts and sending all of your your love and say hi to everybody. Whoops. Hi everybody. Everybody else is inside. I didn't know how to work this earlier apparently because I tried to put a few things on and BZ said that that didn't happen. BZ and I had a conversation just a little bit ago which she will be putting up on, on her IUV site um, that has a little bit more specifics as to your welcome Sophia. Um, it was brilliant. I can't wait for you all to see Heather. There's a, there's a show on tonight too that I'm going to be doing with uh, Bob and Jalela. Um, maybe that Heather might be there as well. So it could be very fun uh, to catch all of this up and find out what's going on uh, with the Galactics and I felt them there. By the way, they're everywhere. But that's what I'm starting to understand is ain't nobody not a Galactic now. We're, we've moved up into these higher frequencies, so we're all that. Uh, we just stepping up um, into who we really are. So, um, unless any of you have any questions that I see, it looks like I'm really seeing the, the real time now. Um, yes, she will be released today, Michelle. She will be with us by this evening. It might take a little while to get it all done, but she will be released and, and back to the house this afternoon. Please start from the beginning. Oh, Mallory, yeah. um, well, this, this is recorded, so when I'm finished with this, you'll be able to go back and see um, everything that I've said, and you'll catch all of that. Tingles, yes. <laughs> um, thank you, Floyd. I'm looking to see if anybody's got any questions that I probably have forgotten. Uh, most of you are just giving me a thumbs up, and um, just really appreciate it again. Uh, all of this is such good energy in there, guys. You know, the, the prosecution or whoever the, they are, they were very adamant, but they really didn't have anything to work with except, you know, their, their own fears. And the, the judge was just like, eh, I don't think so. I think I'm not buying that. <laughs> uh, guy who knows himself, really good stuff. Um, just uh, hang in there. I'm going to post this, and I will get back with you in a little bit. Um, on some more of the details, I imagine that maybe you're welcome, everyone. Um, that, that maybe uh, BZ and I'll do another interview and I can go through all my notes and I can go through step by step because I literally took notes throughout the whole thing. Missed very little. And then, of course, we'll get back to you on what's going on with Randy this afternoon. Um, and we'll let you all know everything that's going on. Uh, we're all in this together, every single one of us, y'all know that, and I love you all. Please do share this once it comes on. By the time I'm finished here, it might take a few minutes for it to populate and then send it on out. It's party time, people. <laughs> this is so good. Love you all, and I will talk with you very soon. Big hugs and kisses to all of you. Say goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Ciao, sweets. Bye. Well, thank you, Judy. So that's uh, that's some interesting news, guys. It sounds like Heather Ann Tucci is going to be released today. So outstanding work, outstanding work. Over here on the IUV webpage, uh, we've got some audio recordings that came in today. I'm going to play this first one here. Okay. Okay. Hi. Well, that's good news. That's it. Oh. Well, she's, um, she's getting out of jail today, um, released on her own recognizance. Um, she will pick her up about 7 o'clock tonight. Um, that's what the marshal told us. Um, there's also a discovery period from, I think, we're sure on the discovery period. I think it's between the 29th of September through October 13th, the response cut off. Um, the trial date is January 23rd, 2018, at 9 in the morning, and the plea cutoff is December 21st, 2017. Okay, and you didn't, was there was no discussion of the actual jurisdiction hearing that's yet to come? Yeah, this was just a detention hearing, it's just 
a jurisdiction hearing in either city sets or one of these other dates. I'm not real clear on that. Um, okay. There was some confusion my part on that one. Because that, um, that, that could conceivably change everything in life or everything else. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. But my, it, it was a uh, very interesting judge and, um, and, and Heather's um, what they call um, double counsel or they my counsel. He's uh, Francis White. He's, he's brilliant. And the judge seemed to be very fair, going out of his way to make sure she can make a case for the jurisdiction and, and everything else. I um, mean, it's a completely different field than you have in DC. So it's, um, uh, it's I'm, I'm very, you still there? Yeah. And um, so yeah, it's a totally different feeling. It's, 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 it's wonderful, really. It's, uh, it's, it's moving. When I spoke with uh, Heather yesterday afternoon late, Heather told me that when she was at conversing with them in D.C., not necessarily in the courtroom, but outside of it, within a uh, holding, that the families and all told her they wanted to end it, they just had no idea how, they had no idea how to bring forth what had happened with the actual UCC filings that the One People's Public Trust 1776 did. And she said, fine, mm -hmm. she would explain that, and that was why there was a jurisdiction hearing and everything else. That's what she reiterated right. yesterday when I spoke on the phone. So I think what you saw unfold in the courtroom this morning is exactly what Heather was relaying to me. They're laying the groundwork for that to unfold for this all to happen. I think so. Today was just strictly a motion hearing, a detention hearing. Um, they are not going to hold her anymore. Uh, when she came in, instead of an orange jumpsuit this time, they had her in a tan one, which happened to be the same color as the prosecution's uh, pan suit. Yeah. And um, the, uh, they had... Um, um, they had her shackled hands and feet and had her hands chained to a chain around her waist, like a, like a chain to a car with. Right. Um, so that's how she came in. It was kind of hard for her to even turn pages of documents and, and you know, she had kind of waddled to the podium to even speak. So, um, but now she can get some real clothes, get a shower, get a smoke, um, get a pair of cases. <laughs> Uh, no way. She should be able to prepare. Yeah. yeah. The so, shower uh, and the smoke. <laughs> it, it, it's, um, it's, it's a very good thing, and um, it's in progress at least. And um, it, it is going to look like it's going to run through January now, unless unless it's just not in the jurisdiction. So, and I, I can't really say right at this point when the jurisdiction hearing is, because I'm not real clear on that. That might have to be seen on the docket when you look it up. Right. So, uh, these are just quick notes I took. So. Okay, great. Well, thank you for that. I'll get this posted right away, and you and I will be in touch. Thank you. I love you. Okay. Love you, too. Bye-bye. And thank everybody for their help, by the way. Um, Randy still has this hearing at 2.30, and, and you know, there's, there's some issues there we've got to figure out, especially for uh, housing him. So uh, uh, we've got to hustle. But, uh, okay. Uh, all right. All right, and here's the call with Judy Jandora and BZ. Okay, Judy, you're live. Go ahead. Okay, so um, would you like me to begin at the beginning? Yes, please. Okay, first of all, they got they had her chained hands and legs, and then a beige um, suit, and um, she was literally having to lift up and do all of that. But um, so we had Judge Shirley. Uh, who is a very kind, gentle, grandfatherly kind of guy. Um, and let me see here, representation issues. Um, so you there was all of the... You said that the Go hearing, ahead. they never got to the jurisdiction part. Right now it was just detention and whether or not she would be detained any longer. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay. So um, how she would be detained, right. And, and of course, the... the um, the ones representing the United States uh, wanting her to say that she was a flight risk and explained that she, and, and, and were arguing about how much money she had and what, all of that kind of thing, and uh, so that she was a flight risk, and she explained, and she also gave up her passport willingly um, right there, and um, so yeah, he, he basically, with all of the stuff in the middle taken out, he agreed that um, she's fine, that she's not on high risk, and she made it very clear that she wants to be here to see this through all the way through because this is something that uh, is now the announcement of the um, 
foreclosures that she's been doing for these past several years. That's correct. And so, uh, Heather, he agreed that the address she set up in uh, Tennessee and Oak Ridge for her, she could stay there and that would be all set? Yes. Okay. All she needs to do is have a landline there with no frills on it. It needs to be a, a landline with nothing else on it in her in her place of the residence which we will get set up yeah because that ha it has to do with um her ankle for traffic yeah yeah that's fine we can have right right okay and so you're saying that you just came out you called me about five minutes ago which is 9 29 um PS pdt time and um so the hearing lasted, just this hearing lasted uh, two hours. That's correct. Okay, so tell us a little bit more about the hearing, please. Well, there, let me see, there were issues of, um, let me see, representation. She and her attorney said to accept him under. Oh, okay, so there was some stuff about um, the guy that is there helping her, Mr. Roy, who is um, her counsel is now going to be um, a, I guess, pro se counsel, not pro se, but he's going to help her, assist her in an administrative uh, format only, and he is not to um, do any of her work. Uh, that was the whole thing of whether she was going to be capable of uh, representing herself, and of course the U.S. attorney said, no, we don't think that she should, and of course when, when she got finished with Stating what her abilities are and that she's been an attorney um, in both Stone Prosecution and uh, the other, I can't think of the name of it right now. Um, anyway, the, the uh, judge agreed that she would be able to represent herself during this whole series. So she will be representing, Heather will be representing herself called, uh, called uh, Sheriff Jura. And she, what she's saying is that she wants. To, she made it very clear that she would be representing herself as herself, not as a separate being representing That's herself. Correct. But she, as herself, would be representing herself. That's correct. That's called Shuris Juris, and she will then have Francis Lloyd as her armchair uh, counsel, and mm -hmm. she will be yeah. doing them as a uh, helping with the the ins and outs of within the local jurisdiction of Tennessee. That is correct, and may I say that he also was very much like the judge in his demeanor, very uh, um, kind, accommodating, and seemed to be very happy to be doing this. Yes, he's fabulous. He's terrific, and he's actually an original who knows it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cool. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to get this this audio up, and um, I'll tell them to look at your channel for uh, videos that you're going to post on Facebook. Okay. Okay. Thank you, and I'll do that as soon as I can. I just yes, wanted to get this to you. Okay. I love you. Thank you. You too. Thank you. Bye. Bye. -bye. All right. Well, there you have it, folks. How amazing is this? Heather's going to be released today and she gets to represent herself as herself. So that's what the sui juris was that we covered yesterday. That would be right here, the choice of Francis or sui juris. So she's going to be sui juris. So somebody had put in a comment that this was as, as yourself. Well, now we got to wait and see what happens with, with Randy Bean's case. Uh, what a big day so far, guys. Wow. I hope you guys are as pleased as I am. She's going to be released. She's going to be able to get her, her own defense strategized and move on with this. And how interesting. Did you hear when BZ was talking with Judy Jandora? Uh... They made a comment that Heather is going to be using uh, these courtroom proceedings to make the public announcement of all of the foreclosures that she has done through the UCC. I believe those are the foreclosures against the 
Well, all the big families and then all these big corporations. So we're gonna we're gonna watch this closely with the high vibration, continue to send very positive energy to everyone, to all souls that are involved in this mess, no matter where they are. All right, lots of love, guys. Thank you so much for all of your energy in this, and we'll be back when we have more updates.